G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today in this video we're going to be showing you how you can add console gameplay into your vMix production using an Xbox Series X. We're also going to show you how you can actually display that on your monitor at the same time, so you can play your video games as well as use the content in vMix. So this is a suggestion that we got from one of our videos asking for YouTube tutorial suggestions, so thanks for that. If you have any really specific vMix tutorials you would like to have made from a YouTube comment, feel free to check out that video that's linked in the description. All right, so we're gonna jump into the studio now. Let me show you what I've got set up today. So I have an Xbox Series X here that I have borrowed from a coworker for a few days to make this tutorial. And these Xboxes have a HDMI output that you can use to display the content on a TV or a monitor so you can actually play the game. Now, if we're using it in a production, we need to be able to display the content on the TV but also be able to capture it into vMix. Now, one way of doing this is using a card that has a loop through or pass through HDMI. So we have a PCI Express card here from Elgato, the 4K60 Pro Mark II, just needs to make sure it's the Mark II. Uh, and this offers HDMI pass through, meaning that you can input the HDMI signal into vMix, but then at the same time, it takes that HDMI signal and then sends it back out and you can use it for a monitor or a TV. So you can capture it and also display it at the same time. So that's a, an option there. They also offer a USB 3 option. So this is the HD60S Plus. So we have the HDMI goes in from the Xbox, USB into vMix, and then it gets sent out from here via this HDMI port. Now there's other options as well from Magewell, like I have this major one here, which has the input and output pass through here and Ava Media also make them as well. So Elgato and Ava Media sort of focus towards the gaming market. So you see a lot of those that will have pass through and you can buy them from retail stores which makes them very accessible. Now perhaps you don't have a card that has pass through. What you'll need to do is use something like a HDMI splitter. So I've got a powered HDMI splitter here that I bought from Amazon for 20 or $30 and it allows me to input one HDMI signal and then split that into two. So I can take the signal from the Xbox here and then send one into my capture device and then the other one out to my TV or my monitor to play the game. All right, so this is what we've got here. We've got the Xbox HDMI out going into the capture device into the computer here. And then that's being sent also out to a monitor where one of our pro gamers will be playing it just shortly. So that's a look at our hardware setup for the PC and the capture card. Now I'm going to show you how you can add it into vMix. That's weird. All right, so here we are in our vMix production and we're ready to start adding some more content. Now, as a quick recap, what we're going to be doing today is taking the HDMI output from the Xbox, inputting that into the Elgato capture card so that I can use it here in vMix, then using the HDMI pass through so that it can be viewed on the TV over here by our pro gamer. Now, as you can see, today I've set up this production at 1080 5994p. And that's because eSports and game streams are going to look best at higher frame rates. You wanna be able to smoothly capture all the action on your game. Now, if you are using PAL, you might wanna consider using 50p. I've also gone into the Xbox and set up the output settings to use 1080 60 frames per second. Now, as we've connected the HDMI from the Xbox to the capture card, it now sees it like it would a normal HDMI camera. So in order to add that into our vMix production, we just need to go to the add input menu and then we need to select camera. So from the camera dropdown menu, you'll see any sort of capture devices you have connected to the computer. So I'm going to select our game capture 4K60 Pro Mark II. Underneath that, you'll see the resolution, 1080, which is what we want, 5994. And then we'll need to choose whether we want audio. So sometimes when you have cameras, you don't want to add the audio, but because this is gameplay, we want to have the audio coming through from the Xbox. So that's going to be the 4K60 Pro Mark II audio. Then we're going to click OK down the bottom, and then we'll see the gameplay footage available in our production. So as you can see here, we now have our gameplay footage and we have our pro gamer <laughs> pulling some pro gamer <laughs> moves. Amazing. Uh, that's what we pay the big bucks for here at vMix Esports. All right, so here we have it in the production. You can see that we have the blue lines here moving. It means the audio is coming through, but you don't hear it because it's not in the program output. Now, by default, when you set up a camera like this, the automatically mix audio is ticked. 
meaning the audio only appears when you've moved it to the program output. So let's just lower this down here like so, and let's just shift this across and you can now hear the audio quietly in the background. And then you can see these green bars moving, meaning that there's audio. Now, if you wanna manually control the audio, just go into the settings and turn off the automatically mix audio. So that means that you'll be able to hear the audio no matter where it is, like so, you can still hear it and you control when the audio is on or off. So I'm just gonna switch this off here so it's a little bit less distracting. So now we have our gameplay in the production, what we can do is start adding it to different things. So if we go to add input, we could go to a virtual set, like a double box, uh, like so here, or you could create your own virtual set if you like, and we could set up each box to have some gameplay footage. Uh, and then in box two, we can set up one of our other cameras, which I have a pro game camera here. And so as you can see here, we now have our pro gamer and we have the gameplay footage on the left hand side. Okay, so this is Tim from the future. I totally forgot to use the camera settings and stuff within the virtual set to make it look good. So let's switch across to the virtual set here. And as you can see, we can like use this camera angle We can select the camera and we can switch between them really easily. Like so we can bring them out. Um, move them across like so. So you can kind of build your own scenes and create all sorts of stuff with these virtual sets. You can build your own virtual sets. And then you can put scenes within the virtual sets uh, to create, you know, content on content. You know, we can bring this out again and we can kind of overlay that as a pro gamer moment. Uh, so you can have overlay, that was an amazing pro gamer moment, perfectly timed there. So, you know, you can have all these virtual sets and scenes and overlays all working together. Mm. All right, so let's just close this one down. And you can also create your own scenes as well. So you can go to add input. Now next to that, there's a little arrow. If we click on that one, you can easily add a blank input like so. Then if we go to the input settings and then go to the layers tab, we can start creating layered content. So I'm going to select the gameplay footage to be the background. And then on the next layer, let's select the pro gamer camera. I'm gonna hold down shift and drag this in and then use the mouse to place it in the bottom corner. Let's cover up the speedo like so. I can edit it even further from here. Uh, let's just add a border to it. Turn this on. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back to the layers section and add another layer where we have a hand cam. So if maybe you've got an extra camera, you focus solely on their hands. Uh, you can use that here as well. So let's make this even smaller. Uh, let's put it in the top corner up here. And then let's just add a quick border as well, like so. And so now we have this awesome set here. So we've got him doing an awesome pro gamer moment. Let's make sure that everybody knows that's what it is. And so, yeah, so we've got a setup like so. Now make sure that you've got the audio when you're moving it across like that, make sure that you've got the audio turned on. Um, that way everyone can hear what's going on and see and hear the awesome pro gamer moment. All right, so that's about it. So with VMix, obviously with all of these, they're all independent. So I can also switch to the full size. So I've got, if you wanna just show the hands, you can do that. Um, you know, if you wanna switch between other things as well, you can go the full, full camera. We can bring that back to uh, this one here. So you can use everything independently. You can build multiple scenes with multiple different inputs doing all sorts of amazing things and all of that. So hopefully this audio is not too loud. Um, he is jumping off a lot of crazy things. There are some things you might need to consider when using consoles and different hardware. Devices like HDMI splitters might be a little hit or miss, and the same goes for monitors and TV. Sometimes they don't like the signal they receive, or perhaps the device doesn't recognize the output for some reason. So before trying any of this out, I'd recommend doing some online searches for hardware combinations that you might be going to use to see if anyone has had any issues. So check consoles, monitors, TVs, splitters, capture cards, all that kind of stuff. Now it's also a really good idea to have equipment that you could possibly return if it doesn't work for your setup. Now finally, the HDMI pass-through is just that. It's passing through the exact same signal that you're receiving. You can't use the HDMI port to output vMix like you would with your GPU. It's just the same signal going in, is that's the same signal that's going out. So keep that in mind. Now, if you do have any support questions, please drop us an email via the contact page on vMix.com. So thanks for watching and especially thanks to our vMix hand model for their epic pro gamer moments. I really do appreciate it. So thanks for watching and we will stream you later.